Well, good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Thursday, July 16th, 2020. And today's news has to do with, of course, gratitude, but around your health and uh, the doctor and your sleep and some of the things, some of the information I have for you today on that. So let's start with gratitude improves your sleep. Gratitude increases sleep quality, reduces the time required to fall asleep and increases sleep duration. Said differently, gratitude can help with insomnia, and that is something that a lot of people struggle with. The key is what's on our mind as we are trying to fall asleep. If it's worries about the kids or anxiety about work, the level of stress in your body will increase, reducing sleep quality, keeping us awake, and cutting our sleep short. If it's thinking about a few things that we have to be grateful for today, it will induce the relaxation response, knock us out, and keep us that way. Yes, gratitude is a safe and free sleep aid. Let's look at the science of gratitude and how it helps us sleep. In one study of 65 subjects with a chronic pain condition, those who were assigned a daily gratitude journal to be completed at night reported half an hour more sleep than the control group. And of course, I talk about a gratitude journal many, many times, including the one I sell, the Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal. In another study of 400 healthy people, those participants who had higher scores on the gratitude test also had significantly better sleep. They reported a faster time to get to sleep, improved sleep quality, increased sleep duration, and less difficulty staying awake during the day. The reason grateful people sleep better is not that their life was simply better. Levels of gratitude are more dependent on personality and life perspective than on other life situations. Gratitude keeps you away from the doctor. Gratitude can't cure cancer. You know, neither can positive thinking, but it can strengthen your physiological functioning. Positive emotion improves health. The details are complicated, but the overall picture is not. If you want to improve your health, improve your mind, the fact comes from all sorts of studies. Gratitude is a positive emotion. It's no far stretch at some of the benefits, i.e. better coping and management of terminal conditions like cancer, HIV, and faster recovery from certain medical uh, procedures. Positive changes in immune function systems and positive more health all apply to gratitude as well. In fact, some recent science to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, shows just that those who engage in gratitude practices have been shown to feel less pain, go to the doctor less often, have lower blood pressure, and are less likely to develop a medical, mental rather, disorder. And I've heard to mention this before too, that it also helps to ease depression, anxiety, and other mental health conditions that uh, uh, something that people struggle with. So that's the message for today. We'll see you tomorrow with the Daily Gratitude News tomorrow. Take care. Remember, be grateful and never quit.